Replay this guy who's a one and remove this stuff from him. And we'll get the cultists. Dude, who's, who's, who's the cultist player here, by the way? Can you tell? Because I can't. Today we're going to be playing some Enslaved Tactics. I know it's not the most exciting deck, but I wanted to make use of Sandor here, and I thought we could try and do something in here with him and Abduction, since we didn't use him in the Colgrim deck. So that's really what we're going to be trying to do. As far as the deck here, it's Enslaved Tactics, so everything, well not everything, but there's a lot of the same things as you'd expect. We have the Torres, we have the Artud, we got the Stefan Skellen, all very standard. We have the Ku, the Yon, Calway. Pretty sure it, all of you guys know how this goes by now. Then we have Sandor. Reason why, since abdu abduction is a tactic, I thought we could use it in here and try and use it for a finisher and stuff like that. So we have Sandor. We're gonna shuffle a card from our deck into the opponent's deck. That's just whatever we want. It's probably just gonna be a toxicologist. And then we also have um oh where'd he go? Yeah, so he's gonna do that. Probably shuffle a toxicologist into their deck. Then we're gonna spawn a drone at the bottom of the opponent's deck. Hopefully we get the order off. We're gonna be using Crystal Skull. I know this says tactical advantage, but it didn't hit save. It's going to be Crystal Skull. And then we get the drone at the bottom of their deck, and we play that as well. So hopefully that's uh, going to work out pretty well. And before I forget, we are going to change that over. So we're going to be using him. And then we have the Abduction. Obviously, it goes quite well with him. You play a card that wasn't from their starting deck. 10 or less provisions. And boosted by one for each below the limit. You play your Toxicologist, for example. It's a 10, and then it gets its deploy effect. You play the drone for 10 plus whatever their drone is. Uh, we're not too concerned about the actual boosting of the drones like you would be in a Colgrim deck. But like, it'd be nice if it had a couple extra points on it, obviously. Then we have the Vilgaforts. The Artorius Vigo. Um, by the way, first Sandor, we and we fit him by cutting the Ana Henrietta. Just because I was running to a lot of pincer maneuver, and I don't think we can even trigger that in this deck anyway. And um, yeah, I was playing much of pincer maneuver before I made this deck, so. Leader that's not really good for Ana Henrietta. Ana Henrietta is good, especially for things that play cards. But just in the games I was playing before recording this, it wasn't looking like she was getting a lot of value. So she's the one we swapped out for Sandor. You could also swap out the Artorius, v Artorius Vigo if you want, but I think it's nice having the extra Simulate guard, especially when you play your Stefan. It's also noting you could also run the uh, Hefty Helga in here somewhere. We're not running Hefty Helga, mainly to fit Sandor. But you can cut him if you really want to, or cut the Artorius Vigo to fit the Hefty Helga. I just found there's a lot of answers to it right now, because everyone's playing like Heatwave because of um, Drakenborg and stuff. Although, I haven't seen that much Drakenborg. I say that, and now it's going to be in all of our games. We don't have a good answer to it, by the way. After Artorius Vigo, we have the two coded weapons, the two Mage Torturers. Uh, I said we cut on a Henrietta for the Sandor. We also cut the Siri, False Siri slash Turny Shalemar slash... Whatever you want to run at six provisions slot to do that. The uh, Nausicaa Sergeant as well, you could play there. So we dropped one of those down to a second Mage Torture since the Sandor is an extra provision. Then with the two Magni Divisions, I like Magni Division. It helps you go through your deck. I think it's really nice. Uh, against Clog decks, this is helpful. Although against Clog, ideally, this isn't always going to happen. But if you can put the Torres onto their Colgrim, uh, you've got some, some stuff you can do. Because as soon as they play their Colgrim, you can match it with an Artud and stuff like that. Then we have the Imperial Diplomacies, just all the four provision tactics except the heal one for soldiers, the ointment. You just have all those, and then the two Toxicologists. So if they do kill the Sandor before we can get his order off, we can just have the Toxicologist put something on the bottom of the opponent's deck, and we'll we'll play that with the abduction. So pretty uh pretty quick rundown there, but I'm pretty sure by now most of you know how enslaved tactics works. And we're just kind of curious to see how Sandor does in it. So that's what we're going to go try and find out. Good old Waylay stuff. I'll do what I can. You know, we can become the Waylay, play, Waylay player here if we want to. Potentially. We do really need a way to stop the Vanadane, though. This is good. It's like, we just hope he doesn't have the Vanadane in his hand. Like The, the perfect setup for this deck with the the scenario, Vanadane Cargo, it's not that consistent. I've played it a fair bit myself to try it out with Cargo. Let it 
one. Guess we're gonna find out if he has it. He does have it. It's annoying. What do we do about Vanadane? Locking the Vanadane doesn't really do anything because of cargo. We definitely want to give it spying. Then Kua Simlos would be pretty good. All right, so the cards we want to pick here are. Do we need this? I think we need the tempo, right? I think we need the tempo. We'll pick this because we don't have a lock in our deck, and it could be useful. We'll pick this because having a purify could be useful. This is probably bad. We won't play elves though. Yeah, we'll pick a purify. And we'll pick this. We know he has Vanadane in his hand. If he cargoes, we have to get rid of the Vanadane as quickly as possible. The Vanadane is the tallest card in the deck, though, right? It's also possible he's not playing a cargo version, although I suspect he would be. Alright, let's get rid of the Obsidian Mirrors. One of these Tourney Joust. Actually, Tourney Joust could be useful. But it's not as useful as the sort of one of these. And then I think we get rid of this. It's a shame we don't have a Magni Division. So we can place Vanadane here, give the Vanadane spying, and then we hopefully kill it. We don't have coup. If we had coup, we could go for like multiple Vanadanes of our own. Should be pretty cool, but we don't. Must be nice to draw both of those. Is it worth spying the Vandane here? We can always just Vilgaforts it. I think we just Vilgaforts it. Although, they do give us the way they proc assimilate. But we give them three more points that way. Give them three more points that way. I think we'll do it. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. Make him respect the coup, even though it won't matter. We still need to play this, but we can take the round with this still. Not that he's gonna pass. So he is playing cargo. That is important to know. So now we definitely have the Vilga Forts. We knew we put that on top of the stack. He just, he didn't, by the way, he played no Oni Romancy, no Lady of the Lake, no consistency cards at all. He just drew all this. That must be so nice. And he has the Oniromancy. This guy's hands, he's just too good at drawing. He's just too good at drawing. How do you deal with this? It doesn't happen when I play the deck. We end up with like one of these in our starting hand. Uh, the other thing is we do need to kill this. We're going to lose this round for sure. Definitely going to lose the round. So we play this. Sons of Nirvgaard. Just to stack our deck. We're going to lose the round for sure, right? He's going to trigger this on this, and that's going to be kind of it. Blue Mountains! This, the Whaley deck is so much better if you can just get good and draw all the important cards around one, like this guy can. <laughs> if any of you watched the video when I did this, like, we almost never had this set up. Just almost never had it. And it's just worth keeping in mind, we have to kill Vernaciel for cargo. He bleeds us here. 
It's not looking good. It's actually looking really, really bad. But we will try to make it work. This is going to be important, the CRN, to lock the Vernacio. You see, he probably has a second Purify. I don't know if he kept it in his hand, though. It's another one of these, because we don't really play. The deck normally doesn't play locks. But you might always keep it just to purify the Vernaciel or whatever. He has Oniromancy for it, too. There's the cargo. Let's go Sandor right away. Give him these guys. The, really, the important thing about giving him one of those guys is you guys abduct, abduction it to set up the other abduction if the uh, they don't let you spawn the drone. Okay, there's the Vernacio. We definitely want that dead. We want it dead. We don't have a good way to kill it. Could lock it and see if he has the Purify, but he has Oniromancy. It's just the ranged order, though. We'd have to move it for it to be really good, but we know he's playing the movement cards, so that's possible. I think we just seize it. We just seize it. This is the safe play. What the shit are we planning with all this anyway? The cargo being a zero tempo is really zero tempo is really important here. He still has his Alyssa, but he's 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 Oniromancy Alyssa. Oh, my pointy-eared clumsiness again. I think we want to set up a coup, even if it's not something good. The senses can be fooled easily. We also go Magni. We're like, we get a, one of these things. It's not very good. I think I'd rather have this for the assimilate potential. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. Yeah, and with the last thing we played as Veil, so this doesn't, uh, you can't re trigger this for much. Like so. Coup has Echo, so I think we just go with the Coup here. Let's get rid of that. He's just trying to bleed us down. Still does Alyssa. This without cargo doesn't matter. Humans are not I mean, to be fair, he could go Simlas Isengrim, but he can't trigger the Isengrim again. I'm curious how far he wants to go here. It's an all in us. So it's going to be Isengrim, Cargo, Isengrim. Now we're really sad we played the lock. But we have to Stefan and kill the Isengrim then, I guess. We need to Stefan kill the Isengrim. We have no assimilates though. It's a bit unfortunate, but we can't let this Isengrim go off again. This is Sim loss. We might still lose, by the way. Okay, but he has not Alyssa, so. And I think he used his second Oniromancy there. No, he played uh, Call of the Forest instead. Interesting. Just Call of Forest is one option for consistency. But I prefer Lady in the Lake because it gets you cargo as well. It's the Aniromancy. Uh, let's see what we've got. We're going to draw into Coded Weapons. I want to draw into Mage Torturer as well. Hmm. We don't have a good going first option here. 
guess abduction the drone. Who? That's a tough question. I think we definitely coded weapons that right now, though. We can always um, spying Simloss into like two Imperial Diplomacies or something. It's not the best, but it's a thing we could do. So I think we last say the coup. He has not elicited, by the way. He's not elicited. Go for this. I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. I think we just coup sim loss double diplomacy finish with the assimilates. That's gonna be our plan. There's the Alyssa. And the last card sim loss, obviously. But we should have enough to actually beat this. A rock toppled and beneath it a scorpion revealed. We have a five waylay sim loss. Which is a lot, but we should be okay. Pick this, because it's really good value. Five waylays is 15 damage, 15 points, and sim loss is three. It's not going to cut it if we have a coup. G G. Inspired zeal. I wonder if this is siege or if it's some kind of Drakenborg deck. I've been I've been thinking about Drakenborg. I don't want to make the standard Drakenborg deck that everyone's been playing. So it might be a couple a little bit until we actually make the Northern Realms deck with the new cards. But I want to make something unique and not just the you know just spam everything deck. As far as this match though, I kind of want our cards. I know that's a really great statement. I don't want uh, Magni Divisions here. Obsidian Mirror might be good if this is Siege. But I don't think it's worth keeping because it's low tempo. Here's the first Siege card. First Siege card. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do about it? Let's just do this. Again. Oh, God. <laughs> we probably need to enslave round one, but I'd rather take something else. That's helpful. We can coup that now. There's the muta generator. I think we just coup this. Uh, if nothing else is gonna enter or leave his deck. Yeah, I think we just coup it. Just remove the engine potential from it. Then a Xavier Arku. It's a bit annoying. Is there anything we want to banish from him, though? Potentially. Wouldn't mind giving this spying, honestly. I need not spill blood to make you Feels like Amphibious no Assault or something. We can always uh, Arto it into it. Not that I really want to be doing that, but I'm just saying if we feel like we need to deal with the Xavier, or like the Xavier him, now we have the option. I'm a Questions, do we need to seize that or not? Do we need to seize that? I don't think so. We're not going to boost it, though, just in case we do want to later. Yeah, 
That's a card we would, uh, yeah, not like that to happen to. We got a really big reset there. We're going to have to seize for sure now. This is a card we want to put spying on, though. So this is what we'll do. We'll go we'll seize this. Do this. What is truth if not an illusion? I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. To slay dragons, tis our nightly duty. To the Drowned 4 or 5, 4, so this is only... I guess he did have a Drowned 4 came up first. Still ahead. I'd honestly rather just keep round control. Let's see what we've got. Uh, trebuchet would be not bad. We could even crew it, which is interesting. Crew's gone now, though. It really doesn't make a difference here. There's the duel. I wonder if he's running a Varaxis. I don't really want to play Abduction here because of this. But the fact that we can get ahead with our Yon Cal wait is a good thing. Oh, we should have crewed the trebuchet with him. It's fine. It's probably fine. Do have an abduction target. So we did this. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's still behind quite a bit here. The right, there's the Hubert. Now he's a little ahead. He's gonna banish this, but we might need its order for next turn. And this should pretty much guarantee us the round. And if he, um, now we have access to five damage next turn, so we can kill an engine with it. He might have to pass here. If he doesn't pass, we do lose our abduction, but kind of okay with it. There's a heat wave on that, and we lose our abduction. Sure. Now, would we rather Artaud or would we rather Stefan? I think it's rather Artaud, but there's nothing. Like, we put Spying on Xavier and Bloody Baron. You can get a three point reset on the Baron. Alright, we'll do this. Go with the Baron. Do a reset on this. And then we want to uh, deal with this guy in case he's playing the uh, Braxis. Of course, we hit the one armor. Alright, there we go. We win the round at the cost of Artood. But he's playing Siege. And if we can get a short round here, maybe we can bleed this Siege out. We didn't get our, um, this guy earlier. So he's gonna be kind of hard to use. But he's still not a bad, like, just like tempo card. What do you want to shuffle into his deck? If you want to shuffle, we don't have abduction, so it doesn't really matter if it's a unit or not. If you want to give him an obsidian mirror. Is probably going to be a zero point play this game. We just want to bleed out the siege. And there's the duel. Still wonder if it's a Varaxis deck. I think we'll go with our guy here, who's Create a Bronze. 
Let's see, two damage. Go with this. Just because in case it's a Varaxis deck, I want this guy damaged. We're almost to the Grace as well. And it's worth knowing Torres does have Assimilate, right? We can go step on Skellen for a bunch. Really waiting for him to Siege, though. No Siege. Siege Master, no Siege. I'm gonna get that Zeal. Interesting. We just go for the Stefan here. I think we just go for the Stefan here. We play melee just in case he does have the sieges and spawn that trebuchet. Yeah, we just do it. Revolution is inevitable, really a matter of time. Decree. So he's a bronze in his hand. He just has a top deck. There's a 10% chance he just drew Siege. Ten percent chance. I think we pass well we definitely pass here. Because we he's gonna win the round if we keep playing. Just if this card is exactly Siege, it would have been better to keep playing. But that's extremely unlikely that that card's a Siege. Exactly. Problem is now he has a Siege. Potentially. We don't have our big Tempo Clarets left. I believe he wanted to bleed it out there. Okay, this hand isn't bad. The only thing would be bad if we drew Obsidian Mirror, but that's a 4, and this is a 5, so we draw this. We draw a second Coated Weapons. It means we don't want to shuffle these back. Alright, that's a lot of tempo, actually. That is a lot of tempo. Do our Magni Division. If he has a Siege, you can't even trigger it anymore. Like, we don't have a lot of points here either, though. The Liga Forts on us is not going to be worth anything with four. So I think he's actually going to win this still. As unfortunate as that is. But we know he's still going to win this. Oh, nice. We got a two. Never mind. He didn't lose. We didn't win. Or we didn't lose. GG. I was surprised there was no siege there so much, but I guess it's just meter generator. Let's see what we're facing here. You'll notice, uh, since we took Honor Henrietta out of the deck, we changed the leader to the Honor Henrietta skin. She's on vacation. So, she's our, she's leading us now instead of in the deck. Felt it would be only fair. Curse Scroll. Okay, is this, uh, is this Cultists? It's gonna be Cultists. How do we beat Cultists? Uh, let's see. How do we beat Cultists? That is a good question that I don't have an answer to. I have to think about that one. For now, though, let's see, this hand looks fine, really. Put this back, I guess. That's a nice card to have here. I like the Magni Divisions early, but it's okay. How do we beat Cultists? Um, how do we beat them? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. We don't really have a tactic to kill this with, by the way. Guess we just start off with this. He's gonna get another one on the bottom of his deck, but 
I don't think we have an answer to cultists, unfortunately. Marked by the Fian Doom. Let's just go for the Sandor here. And let's give him... Oh, he drew both Toxicologists. That's not ideal. Let's just give him the Major Torturer then. We definitely want to give him a unit so we can play it with Abduction. He won't have much tempo here. Like, he already played a Teleportation. The thing is, we need him to... In round... Uh, let's see. How do we... I guess the best thing we could do potentially would be to Vilgefortz the guy he operators to us in round three, right? If we Vilgefortz that, then um, he can't copy it or infuse it. I think that's the play. I'm just not sure we have enough points, even if we do do that. We give him another guy before he talks to college, or another guy before we um, spawn the drone. Drone should have like five points now, or four points. I think this is afterward, actually, so it's probably five. It's a 15 point play, it's not too bad. You might just draw it and play it. Sometimes people do that because they don't want you to do your stuff. So, you know, Nyromancy, we can go right into the scenario here. Yeah, he knows we can't answer it. We just kill that guy. I'm gonna lock our sand door now. He's already got enough, enough, gotten us enough value. This is the problem card. We can't kill it though. Let's just set our deck up, I guess. It's gonna be hard for us to. Um, I, he might even win this round, honestly, because we don't have like our coups and our coded weapons and stuff to deal with this guy. I mean, this is Veil. Vale. This is the only way we play a locked guy, though. Play a locked unit. Okay, these are all locked now, so these are all unplayable. Suffering in nobles, friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. He's gonna win this round, isn't he? I guess we do have enslave, but I would like to enslave his guy round three. Like, I would like to Vilgefortz the one he copies to us, then enslave the one he plays. It might be too greedy, though, because then we won't win this round. Mr. Vincent. So he's going to win this round, isn't he? Even if we enslave something, it's only a 12 point difference. He's gonna bleed us here, but as long as we, we have the Vilga Force for the guy he operators, I think if we can do that and then have a bunch of control cards, maybe we've got a chance. But uh, it's not looking fantastic. He just passes. That's fine. We could abduction because it has echo. He could also just be baiting us and uh, there won't be an abduction target in his deck, but they're on the bottom, so it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Let's play this one. I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. Now we just need our control cards, which we have a coded weapons. We'd like more. And then we do not want Obsidian Mirror. We do have the uh, Torres though. This works together. I guess we'll take the coded weapons. We're gonna coup something and then we're going to um, Torres it. Should be good. Let's see, what do we want to open with here? 
Probably just the abduction. Let's grab our drone. That old 15 point start. Oh, he's playing defender. Uh, that ruins a lot of our plans. I guess we have to give it spying. That ruins quite a bit, actually. Do we have to Vilgefort that, is my question. I think we have to Vilgefort that. This doesn't feel good. Because we can't let him get a... We can't let him get any of these guys, uh, the initiates, on the board. Yeah, but now we can't kill this one. He's going to make copies of it. What if we just seize this and then kill any more he plays? We have two coded weapons. That might be doable. Let's seize this. Do you want to set up a coup on something good here? We could just coup that. It's not ideal. So let's set that up. What is truth if not an illusion? I know the truth. I simply want you to admit. At least we can trigger these guys. We want to kill all the initiates he's going to make. We have a lot of control, so we can kill one here. Oh, we do Magni Division for this. Yeah, I think we can just kill them all. Kill that one too. Obviously, he's getting some decent value here. Just because these are going to keep boosting. Oh, he had another one. Okay, now that becomes that yeah, interesting. We can kill it though. We can go like this. It's because of Death Wish, right? Yes, yeah, so we can go like this. Like this. Coup this. Or coup this, yeah, yeah. That won't kill it, though. We have to kill it, no matter what. Can't quite do it, though. We play a cultist. Guess we go for the Stefan. We have to kill it. At least we got two more guys now. He should be out of initiates unless he has more Duchess informants. Okay, that's one way to get it back. Uh, let's see here. We do need to coup get this guy. We could also see what we get off of this. We could also go Arta Hood. What do we give spying to so far? Profit. Uh profit's a good one to do. Let's let's do that. Oh, we should have done these first. Should have done these first, but I was worried about the turn, turn timer and we didn't think it through. Yeah, we're gonna lose that guy now. He doesn't have that many cults yet, but that's still a lot. Oh, we can coup his Artorius Vigo, not quite. So he still has a locked hand. 
still has a locked hand. We'd really love to set up the coup on this guy. Now we can replay one of these guys. It was not from our starting deck. Let's do this. The continent shall be united. Under Repl one replay this banner. guy who's a one and remove this stuff from him. We'll get the cultists. Dude, who's, who's, who's the cultist player here, by the way? Can you tell? Because I can't. Few dare venture into oh, this is pretty funny. Let's just infuse this guy, I guess. Let's play this. What are we going to get? Eh, yeah, let's pick this one. You know, I was worried about this matchup, but uh, it turns out we're the cultist player, after all. And we shouldn't have been worried about anything. Despite him having a 34 and a 27. Arrakis Swarm. This could be interesting. We can make a bunch of his best cards and if he doesn't draw them in his opening hand. And hopefully he doesn't draw them in his opening hand. Like, if we get Kiki more queens and stuff... Could be quite interesting. I can also make copies of his guys with this. Probably put this back anyway. Do want the damage cards, I think. This looks like a nice hand. Start off with this. Let's see. Okay, so it's a Sir Scratch a lot deck. Sir Scratch a lot. We can do these two for tempo. Because there's only one bronze anyway. These for tempo. And. This is an Arrakis Queen deck. No, it wouldn't be right. Well, Sir Scratch a lot. It's always suspicious. I think this is the safe thing to do. We can always get the hive mind as well. Put it to five. I think here we I think we were pretty much always just banished the obsidian mirrors. Only bronze in his deck's Chimera, so it's worth noting. Probably, well, we're pretty sure that it's some kind of a Golden Necker deck, is what we saw, right? Let's go this first. We could get the one that does damage to everything, the Forktail. Didn't get the fork tail. That was a really big, would have been a really big high roll. Or we could have gotten the stalker too, but that wouldn't really help because we don't spawn that much. We don't really have anything good to put spying on. Let's just go Artarius Vigo. Let's go to our Maggie division. Plenty 
If he passes, we can do our yawn kill wait next round. He's not going to, okay. Drop him here then. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard. He should pass. If he doesn't pass, it means he's gonna kiki more queen or something. Or Glusty Warp, potentially. Be one of those. There's a Chimera. That we can actually put spying on. And like we can actually give him this as well if we want to do the Sandor thing. Let's do the Sandor thing, I guess. Water is here for you. And let's give him one of these. This way, if he golden neckers, we get a bunch of points. Not a bunch of points, like three or four, probably. Can't Glusty Warp anymore. He's got more Chimeras. We know he's the Kiki more Queen in his hand. Okay, there's Curse of Corruption. It's pretty good for him. Do we want to give him something with this, or we just want to hit something? I think this is the card we want to play. And if I insert a needle here, now we'll give him the drone. He needs more chimeras or bone talismans to win the round, but he might have them. Yep, there's a Bone Talisman. Let's remove this. Give some value. Surprises. Okay, we doesn't want to play what he has left. So we know, we do know, we know he has Kiki More Queen in his hand. Might it's probably Karanthir, Kiki More Queen, maybe Golden Neck or something like that. Or he has a doesn't want a golden necker because he might get those. I mean, this hand is very good, right? We have two echo cards for round three. These coming back. Go abduction. Let's play our big old drone. 16. We have enough control here that I think we can stop the Kiki More Queen and stuff. It's just if he golden neckers, then we can't. Because he'll boost it. We'll have to Vilga Forts it. Not the worst thing either, though. Predatory dive? Hmm. Figured he'd predatory dive this. Okay, he's going to. He's not going to. I am so surprised there's no predatory dive there. But we won't complain. We want a Xavier. Or an Artaud into Xavier, I guess. I think we Artaud. Gotcha, gotcha, I think we just Xavier. Get it, to work. it stops him from being able to play um, Hive Mind. It's also the most points in general. There's a Sir Scratch. So he's gonna go Golden Necker or something into Kiki More Queen next turn. All right, we know Kiki More Queen's his next play. We can't coup anything good right now, unfortunately. There's nothing good we can coup, so we'll just hit this. It's like four points. Five points, I guess, because we get the assimilate. So this is either Golden Neck or Kiki Mark Queen right now. Then we enslave the Sir Scratch or the Kiki Queen. Okay. So we can enslave. We can enslave this, then Vilga Forts. He's catching up though.
So you banish that. We seize this. We go with this. We can Vilga Forge the next Kikimor Queen. It's just Golden Necker will be a lot of tempo when he plays it. There it is. Oh, we're going to lose all of our Echo cards. That's really unfortunate. That was what we were counting on for round three. So we're just going to have to 2 0 then. There's the Chimera. Oh, he didn't use the Xavier Order. Okay, that's something at least. That's something. Means we get one of these two back. We did play the drone already out of his deck. We still think I shuffled in, but if he keeps it in his hand, that's really bad. We can do these drones next round for the Kikimor Queen. He's already golden neckered. Go to round three, I think. Hopefully it isn't Xavier our abduction. Cool, he didn't use the Xavier. He really should have. Like, there's no reason not to use the Xavier. We know his last card's Kiki More Queen as well. Uh, let's see. We kind of want a Toxicologist to make sure we can trigger Abduction. But it might be worth having the Xavier. Is it though? You can't, you can't hive mine. No, it's not worth it. You want the Toxicologist. This is good too, because it's up to coup. We're gonna go with the Kiki More Queen now. Rakus Behemoth. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so abduction potentially is a zero if he kept the one guy in his hand, but that won't change. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps a bit. He shouldn't have it in his hand though, because it was at the bottom of his deck. So we look forward to that, and we hope we don't get the guy we abductioned. We didn't get the guy we need to abduction. That's good. He should be out of big plays now. Maybe second bone talisman. Maybe second bone talisman. Go for the coup now, though. Oh, if he gets the guy we need to abduction... He, this guy is not making the right moves. I really didn't think he had another card. We should have technically played this first, in case he did that. But I wanted to play around another tall removal. Or a reset. Like, there's no... Like, I was figuring there's no way he wasn't running spores. And we had to play around that, but I he should have played this out of his deck, because then when the, he knows we have the Echo. This guy handled this game very poorly at the end, but it happens. So that's the deck, guys, and Slave with some of the new stuff. This is what I meant about the other day when I was talking about Colgrim, is that we'd play Sandor and something else. He's quite nice in here. The Abduction... So one of the things you can run into with Enslave, in my experience, as you can see here, Enslave Mastery, we've played a grand total of 25 Enslave games because I just don't like it. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do? Sometimes you need to make content, right? <laughs> 25 Lifetime Enslave, so we got to get that up. Got to finish that contract. 
Anyway, now that you've seen that embarrassment, because I usually don't play Enslave. Uh, yeah, so as far as we can see, the Sandor seems pretty good in here. I've seen... I have not played much in Slave, as you can tell by that, but we've played against a ton of it. So you get a lot of experience against the deck, the figuring people do. So Sandor I think is pretty cool in deck. You get your drone, theoretically, you get to shuffle something in, you shuffle in the uh, Toxicologist so you can abduction it, and then, you know, then it'll set up the next abduction, which is nice. As far as Enslave in general, it's still very strong. It's it's a very, very strong deck. Um, you, we are playing the abduction and the Sandor over the traditional stuff here. So where that might be an Ana Henrietta, and then this could be like Treason, or you're, you fit a Hefty Helga in and then cut a different unit for a cut like a Mage Torturer, something like that for another tactic. And there's options here, that's for sure. But I just wanted to try out Sandor, because I talked about in the Colgrim deck, we wanted to use him in something different, because I wanted to play Golden Necker, and here I think he's quite good. The Abduction, like, I've, just, I've seen this quite a bit when I play against the um, Enslaved decks when I've tried it out myself, is... You can have these situations, and you saw them in these games, right? We just don't have a good opening play for a round. Because a lot of our stuff does damage, right? We don't want to start with, like, uh, Artud, Stefan. You can't start with a coup. You don't want to really start with your Vilgaforts or your your Vigo, necessarily. You don't want to start with, like, a damage card. So you can run these situations where it's not something you want to play. Which is where um, uh, Magni Division into Boohurt helps a lot, by the way. Just kidding. It doesn't work because you can't boost an enemy. But you know what I mean? Like, there's, such, there's situations where... You want to play something, and the opponent doesn't have a, a setup for it. Like they don't have a unit, they don't have a big unit, something like that. They have an engine you don't want to boost with boo hurt, something like that. So it's nice to have abduction, just like start around by playing the drone or playing out whatever you put in their deck. It's quite nice to have that in there. And then Sandor going first is quite nice as well, and it gives you options for the abduction. I think he works really well in the deck. As far as options, like I said, you can go with removing the Sandor and abduction if you want. Play the standard on Henrietta and instead of the Sandor, swap the abduction for your treason, for your um, bribery, whatever you want to do there. So this options. I think this is more fun, though. I like, like Sandor. He's cool. And then abduction is one of my favorite cards. Even though it has some strange interactions, I think it's one of my favorite cards of this set. I think it's really good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.